Hey guys, so we're back with the 6.7 build here. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to install the cam bearings or cam bearing on this, in this case, and also the, the, fro the freeze plugs, um, how we install them, and then we stake them in so they don't come out. You guys can see in there, now with the light. So we're gonna be putting the cam bearing in this front bore, right? So what it is, is you need, well, you don't have to do it this way. This is just, this is how we do it. So there's this bushing that just has tape on it just so it doesn't rattle around because it's not, wasn't actually the right size. But with the tape, it works perfect for what we're doing. So now what we have is this bar with another one of these on there. Get it far enough away, but basically so, and then you can hammer on this end. So what you do is you install the bearing on this side. And then basically all this does is keep the bearing straight when you're pounding it in is basically all it does. So this is what it would look like on this side. This is what it would look like on this side. So only thing you do want to watch is you can see the oil hole there. The oil hole has to line up in the block with the oil hole. So what we usually do is, um, being that I couldn't find the right bearing, I don't have a paint marker in my pocket to try it, just to show you guys. So what you want to do is you want to look up inside here and see where the oil hole is, right? So your oil hole is right here. So what I do is you mark where your oil hole is for your bearing, and then you take this and the oil holes there too, right? So what I do is I put a line across it and then a line on the front side like that so that you know where it's going. Obviously this bearing shouldn't pull off here. This isn't the right size, but the bearing itself ID is the same size. I just didn't grab the right mandrel for it. But basically all you're gonna do is you'd put it in there and then you tap it in till you get it in the right spot. Verify that the oil hole is lined up when you're done and that's pretty much it. And if you have one at the back, then you repeat the same thing. Now you can do this with other stuff you just have to be very, very careful that you get the bearing straight because if the bearing cocks sideways in there, the bearings, like if, even if you cock sideways, you get a little bit of transfer, bearings junk, don't use it, buy a new bearing. So very simple to do. Um, you just wanna make sure, you have to make sure it's straight and that doing this, using this jig um, or you know, cam bearing installer, I guess you call it that we made, um, keeps it straight. So that's you know, the only thing that you wanna watch for. Next thing is installing, just back in the box, installing the oil gallery plugs. Now these are just frost plugs, freeze plugs, whatever you wanna call them, I call them frost plugs. They're actually expansion plugs is what they actually are called. So I guess maybe I should call them expansion plugs because that's actually what they are. So what we do is there again, have a tool for doing it. You can use a socket. You know, this is just something I made up in the lathe. Um, and there's your freeze plug. What you do is, this is retaining compound. You could, there's all kinds of different brands. The stuff that we usually use is Permatex just because it's easy for us to get. Just like I said, retaining compound. Um, not, nothing super fantastic. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that hole is, is clean inside, being that you just cleaned the block you're installing this stuff. You wanna make sure you install these because otherwise you won't have any oil pressure. Make sure it's clean. Just stick a rag in there, make sure it's clean. Doesn't have any oil on it. There again, make sure you're straight. And then just tap it in. And you just wanna go below the surface. You don't wanna go in very far because some of these blocks have a cross drill that you don't wanna cover. So you wanna be very careful with that. So, and then what we do afterwards on these ones is we stake them. And you don't have to put a huge stake there, but if you do that, they don't fall out. The retaining compound, I don't know if they would actually fall out or not, but basically it's just a, it's an extra insurance that the, the frost bug won't pop out of there because the stake stops it from popping out. So not really, like I said, they're not really rocket science. And then you're just gonna rinse and repeat 
um, for the rest of them. Um, so there's this one on this block and then there's two at the back that I'm gonna do. Um, and then this same process for, for um, freeze plugs or frost plugs, um, if you're installing them, same idea. We use a retaining compound, red Loctite, that type of thing. You tap them in, make sure they're straight, and then we stake them. If we're doing them, we always stake them. Um, and then, yeah, you're good to go as far as that goes. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this one off here. Um, like, subscribe, um, comment down below, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.